Parts of speech can be overwhelming to teach sometimes. We know it as grammar, but I take grammar lessons and shorten them down and make them consistent for the kids to understand slowly the different parts of speech and how important they are. I begin with nouns. Nouns can be such an odd word to say, so I just say it with them. Everybody repeat after me, nouns. Let's say it loud, nouns. Let's say it quiet, nouns. Let's whisper it, nouns. Let's say it on zero voice. What are nouns? Nouns are naming words. So to help them, I have them say after me, nouns are people, animals, places, and things. So we pointed to ourselves, we are people, animals like a cat or ears for a bear or any other animal you'd like to create, places, this would associate with a house, and then I always point to a different thing, whether it's a ring or a necklace or my earrings or my hair. That way it makes it fun for them to associate the nouns to our bodies. Then the most important part, especially with younger children, is to have picture cards. We might talk and talk about how nouns are people, animals, places, and things, but they need to associate it with something. So I have big picture cards that really help. So we talk about people. People are nouns, they're naming words. Mom, dad, grandma, grandpa, brother, sister. And I have big cards to help them remember that. Nouns are people. Nouns are animals. So I have picture cards with lots and lots of different animals. So they know that every animal is a noun. Nouns are places. First I start with something they can make a connection to. Of course their house. That's a place, that's a noun. And then things, everything in nature, everything around us is a noun or a naming word. Then I take my cards and I would pass them out to each of my children. So everybody has a different picture card. Then we can make a graph with them. So family are people, babies are people, your teacher is a person, firefighter are people, people are nouns. Then we would graph our animals, fish are animals, Dogs are animals, cows are animals, lizards are animals. Then we would talk about the places, again making that connection to what they know. Your house is a place, school is a place, the beach is a place, the farm is a place, and the things. Leaves, butterflies, crayons, and fruit. This way it's a graphic organization of what nouns are. I would keep this up in my room and then when they found different things throughout the school year, they could add it. So I found a picture of a person, so let's put it in the people category. I found a new animal, let's go ahead and add that. Add places and add things. This is something I continue throughout the year to again talk about nouns and how they are people, animals, places, and things. Thank you.